Well, there was some, you know, definitely shocking news that, that came out about everyone knows diamond and silk. Everyone knows them. You know, I definitely first time I saw them was on YouTube, um, you know, doing their show together. I'm like, okay, well, it's two older sisters and they doing what they do. You know, um, at the time I saw them, they was all in, into Trump and uh, a lot of black people, you know, you know, didn't like, you know, what they were doing because a lot of what they were doing were very performative. You, you know, I mean, some, some of the, I mean, the, the antics and all of that, and it, it just, you know, it, it was so performative. And I just thought personally to watch two sisters be that performative like that. It was just, to me, it was just embarrassing. I mean, if you want to be a Republican, you, you can, you don't have to sit up there and be so performative where you're looking like a minstrel show. So that's what a lot of issues black people had uh, with diamond and silk. Now, you know, diamond and silk ended up getting on Fox news at one point in time, but when the time of the virus came around and, you know, anybody that, you know, spoke outside of the national narrative, uh, for the virus at the time, um, you was getting removed from everything. And of course they got, uh, removed from Fox news, uh, for having something different than the national narrative. Um, but what recently came out is Diamond or, you know, Lynette Hardaway is actually her real name. Um, she passed away the other day and everyone is shocked by this. You know, she was 51 years old. And um, so I say, well, man, let me see what was her last, you know, video. So, you know, she, you know, has a website. And, and so I went on their website and I think the last uh, show they had together was December the 15th. Well, they, some news came out that actually around the Thanksgiving break, um, that she actually went into the hospital, um, with, uh, you know, the virus and say that, and, you know, she definitely was a person that, you know, was against, um, you know, people talking about the virus and, you know, um, getting inoculated for it. And she, she was that kind of person. And, she ended up getting the virus and she got hospitalized, um, for it. And they said that she ended up getting out of the hospital from what I was reading, but it said after she got out of the hospital, uh, she was still having issues. And from what I you know, was reading there is that, uh, silk, you know, was with her, you know, she ended up, you know, passing away and everything. Now, you know, I, they didn't say complications of the virus. They just say she passed away, but they say she did actually have it. Um, you know, I had the virus myself back in May and I can tell you that that virus was man. Oh my God. I never felt body aches that intense in my life. I never felt that. And I've had flu and all kinds of other stuff and still never felt body aches that intense. Um, you know, all the sweating I was doing and uh, man, it was shoot, you know, and uh, my sister-in-law, she's a nurse, and she told me that one thing that virus would do is expose everything you got going on with you. So we didn't know that lady's overall health, but if you get that virus, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be taxing to whatever your overall health is. Um, and I remember prior to them having, you know, uh, a jab, that people didn't have that and people were dying. Oh, they were dying. I talked to my sister-in-law and she was just telling me the stories about how people were dying with that stuff and how she saw, you know, people, you know, turning blue cause they couldn't breathe and all that. I mean, it was, it was bad. You know, it was bad. You know, I'm, I'm hearing it from multiple people who, um, had to deal with that at that time period. That's when you had no, no, you know, uh, jabs or anything. Then eventually they came out. Um, and so, you know, there are people right now saying, oh, look at all these people passing out of cardiac arrest because people took it. This lady didn't believe in it at all. And well, there you go. Um, I really, I always tell people when it comes to health that you need to consult your doctor, you know, cause I don't know nobody's overall health. I don't like to promote, uh, to tell people what to put in anybody, what not to put in it. I don't get involved with that. But one thing that I did not like about this situation with the diamond uh, uh, thing I was raised old school and you know, my grandmother always told me two things and I love my grandmother to death. I wish she was still here. She said that you don't rejoice in your enemy's downfall 
you say unless it's an asterisk on that. Unless they like somebody like freaking, uh, uh, you know, some some evil entity, right? I mean, like extremely evil entity that's like just doing a bunch of horrible things to people, you know, like some you know, serial killer or, you know, so I mean, you know, some some to that effect, right? But somebody you just disagree with politically, they didn't harm nobody, they didn't do anything to nobody that you could say, oh yeah, look what they're doing. They, you know, you, you don't you don't rejoice in people dying. Okay. Um whether you agree with her or disagree with her, I didn't like and I made videos when they were doing all that performative crap. I hated the crap they was doing. But I wouldn't sit up here and be celebrating the sister dying. And whether you agree with her or not, she's still a sister in the community, whether you agree with her or not, you know, see, cause you know, people so-called, uh, cause like I said, I don't, I have my own definition of what I feel pro black is. And I've learned long time ago that everybody's definition is different. And I don't let your definition define my definition. I will never let that your perception is never going to be my reality, but how I view it is, that's a sister in the community. Even if I disagree with the sister, that's still a sister in the community. And I'm still going to have some decorum on what I say. If I can't say nothing nice, I'm not going to say nothing at all. I'm not going to celebrate someone's dying. I think celebrating somebody dying, whether you agree with them or not, is utterly sick to me. Just like I felt it was sick when, when these females were set up here celebrating the death of Kevin Samuels. Whether you disagree with the brother or not, that was sick. And I don't know what happened to our community. Well, I know what happened to our community. Our community has rejected God. That's what, he, what our community has done. And because our community has rejected God in a mass way and has accepted the devil, uh, that the white supremacists follow. Well, yes, a lot of our people have, has accepted Satan and, and, and follow everything that Satan do based off following the white uh, supremacist. Because a lot, a lot of you, you, you God is the white supremacist, unfortunately. Because I remember when black people actually had more God in their heart and they had more decorum. They would say, you know, uh, you know, I'm just keep things to myself. You know, like I said, I'll just pray for their family. That's just mostly how black people would say, you know, they wouldn't go out there making memes and celebrating and doing all kinds of things like that. Say, you know, you expected that out of them folks to do some, some evil like that with black people. And that's why I say it doesn't surprise me at all. What I see black people do today. It don't. Because you had, they, they have no decorum no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying if you ain't got nothing nice to say, just just don't say nothing. You know, if you don't want to say to say other say, well, I just pray for their family. I just you know, they made their family. You know, whatever. I'm not saying you got to go donate money to anything. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is at least have some doggone decorum about ourselves as a people. Because today, too many of our people are acting like straight uh, Neanderthals, like them folks, and, and acting like some straight up uh, 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 devils, a lot, a lot of our people. And that's not the way our people were raised. That's not the way our people have been for thousands upon thousands of years. I don't like to see that. Not whatsoever. But like I say, Diamond passed away. She was 51 years old. And I was thinking, I was like, what is going on also with our people passing away so soon? I remember black people, you know, passing away 70, 80, 90, a hundred. That was constantly, come on. Y'all remember that our grandmothers passing away and grandfathers in their eighties, nineties, hundreds. Now today, black folks are passing away in their fifties and their forties. What's going on? I, I think we really need to be paying attention, you know, to, to what we're eating. We need to be, you know, making sure we try to exercise, you know, at least four to five times a week. You know, stay away from that all that alcohol. Stop putting that dog on a uh, 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 weed in your mouth because these people put all kind of chemicals in that. It's not, it's not the same anymore. And, and I, you know, I thank God I just don't have that vice because um, shout out to Great Black Shark. He just dropped a uh, 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 article showing that y'all that's up here smoking that mess is is messing up your fertility, and that's done by design because these people these people lace that stuff with chemical. Everything that God create, the white supremacists ruin it. You could take an apple, right? Apples are great, but the white supremacists will put a chemical on the apple. Or let's say you get applesauce out the store. 
if you don't go look on, on that package, they put high fructose corn syrup in an apple. You don't need high fructose corn syrup in applesauce. Apples are sweet on their own. That's what I'm saying. The white supremacists ruin everything. You go get a bottle of water. You better read what's in that water because sometimes they be putting uh, potassium chloride. All, what are you putting a chemical in water for? You understand what I'm saying? The white supremacists ruin everything they touch. Everything that they touch, everything they are beautiful, they ruin it. Everywhere they go, they ruin everything. And our, and our people have gotten away from growing our own food, raising our own animals. You understand what I'm saying? And depending on the white supremacists to feed us and putting all that, because I, I, I know this. I know that what's killing black people in America is the food, is definitely the air we're breathing. When you, when you put all that alcohol in your body constantly, drinking too much, smoking that weed, all this stuff, that, that's killing black folk. It really is. And then we do deal with uh, illness that come our way. Our immune system isn't strong enough to fight it. It isn't. So what I'm saying is, 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 is this, is that, you know, we all need to look at some things, you know, um, cause I'm sitting up there making a list of a bunch of things that I'm cutting out of, of, of my, my life, even, even what I, you know, uh, eat. And now since I have more time and I, I'm more, I can be more dedicated to my personal self now, since I'm not, you know, going clock in and work a 12 hour shift anymore. I'm happy about that. Cause I can dedicate all the time I want to, to go into the gym and doing things like that. Something I've always wanted to do. And I really couldn't do it working a 12 hour shift and also uh, trying to run a business as well. But we need to make sure to keep up with ourselves, you know, for sure. Cause it's so much stuff coming our way, but you know, like I said, for, you know, diamond, like I said, for her to pass away at 51 years old, that's, that's quite shocking. That is shocking. And, uh, you know, just you know, me personally, like I said, um, you know, I, I will say that, uh, you know, pray for her family and, 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 you know, cause I, you know, nobody, you know, won't lose a, a family member that that's for sure. Uh, but like I said, people just, just, just remember if you have nothing nice to say about a person, just, just, just don't say nothing at all. I mean, at least that's learn to have, get back some of the decorum that, that, that I oldest taught us. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen, Jones, the podcast greatly appreciated. Make sure um, you click the subscribe button, make sure you click the like button and we'll see you on the next one.